It's been 10 years since professional snowboarder Kevin Pierce suffered a traumatic brain injury during a training run for the 2010 Olympics. At just 22, his family didn't know if he would survive, let alone walk or talk again. But Kevin hasn't just reclaimed his identity, he's found new purpose. Before the coronavirus hit, NBC's Savannah Sellers went to Vermont and talked to him about his new mission to help people. Take a look. When I'm snowboarding, I, I really feel free. For Kevin Pierce, snowboarding wasn't just a hobby, it was an identity. I'm where I'm supposed to be when I'm up here. This is, this is, this is my home. In 2007, 19-year-old Kevin emerged from the quiet mountains of Vermont to the top of the world stage, even beating reigning Olympic champion Sean White. You're traveling around the world, you're at this peak in your career. What did all that feel like? It was just a complete and total dream. As the 2010 Olympics neared, many saw Kevin as a top contender for gold. Were you envisioning yourself there and on that podium? I completely imagined myself going to the Olympics and winning. But on New Year's Eve 2009, less than two months before the Vancouver Games, Kevin's Olympic career and his life changed forever. During a training run, Kevin fell and was knocked unconscious, suffering a severe traumatic brain injury. He didn't look like Kevin. He had a 30 tubes in him and he looked like he was dead. His family rushed to his side and his brother Adam quit his job to aid in Kevin's recovery. The first week and a half was, is he gonna, is he gonna live? Then the next two weeks is, is he even gonna be conscious? What do you remember? Where does your memory pick up? I don't remember the next 32 days. Slowly but surely, Kevin showed signs of improvement. We were playing music in the background off a playlist that he used to snowboard to, and he started mouthing the lyrics to this song. We were like, whoa, whoa, he's, there's something happening here. I had to relearn how to walk. I had to relearn how to talk. I had to start my life over again. Miraculously, Kevin recovered, and after five months in the hospital, returned home. Basically, he brought me back to life. Just two years later, he was back on his beloved board. I want to thank you guys for getting me back here. But with that progress came a painful realization. It was damn emotional for me to feel that love that I have for snowboarding. But in a way, it was like I knew when I got back on my board, that is what told me that I wasn't going to be able to do it again. Not only were you grappling with losing something that you love to do, it was who you were. How did you handle that? Losing snowboarding is definitely the hardest thing that I've ever had to deal with in my life. It's almost like a part of me is missing, but instead of going to that place, it's like, how do I find how to fill that void? He began to fill it with yoga and meditation, a new kind of motion that eased his mind. I feel empowered again. I feel not back to like I did on a snowboard, but almost a different kind of greatness. Together in 2014, Kevin and Adam created Love Your Brain, a nonprofit that supports people with traumatic brain injury and their caregivers through yoga, mindfulness, and community. Welcome, everyone, to the Specialized first. classes are offered across 35 states and Canada. To date, over 4,000 people affected by TBI have participated in the program. I was having a really hard time before I found Love Your Brain, and I came here and found this amazing community. I never would have imagined something so devastating at a time, how it would really transform me personally, but also being able to use that experience to, to really support so many other people. I think my superhero is Kevin Pierce. <laughs> when you have a brain injury, you feel no hope, but there is hope. I'm just so unbelievably grateful that I got to go through this and understand that like we are unbelievably resilient as humans. Ten years later, Kevin's resilience is on full display. In September, he got married, celebrating a partnership with wife Caitlin that likely wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for his accident. I was hosting a charity event for Love Your Brain and I actually reached out to him. Yeah, it was like a dream come true. Kevin converted Caitlin from skiing to snowboarding. And soon there'll be another Pierce hitting the slopes with their first child coming in November. Does this chapter feel like the best so far? Oh yeah, this does. This, uh, this compares no other to anything else I have ever experienced in my life. And snowboarding was great and winning all those competitions was awesome, but it's like, that's history. This is, this is the 
present moment and this is perfect in every single way possible. Thank you, Savannah. During the pandemic, Love Your Brain has taken their courses online. They are free and you can find out more about them at thirdhourtoday.com.